this is the alcohol residue and guess what this is what the karamojong feed on thousands of people in karamoja are facing serious food shortages karamoja is largely inhabited by the agro pastoralist community the remote region in northeastern uganda suffers endemic security problems Karamoja is the home to about 1.1 million people. The semi-arid region has the highest maternal and infant mortality rate in Uganda and the lowest life expectancy. The number of food insecure people in Karamoja has risen and it is rising day by day. So people survive by eating some leaves and alcohol residue as you'll be seeing in this video they also gather some plants in the field but it is really risky because you can lose your life in the process children also refuse to go to school because they cannot go on an empty stomach so the rate of education is also low so guys i decided to try and eat the alcohol residue and it's really nice i'm a proud african and i'm proud of this homestead too this is me like this is where my story is because i'm an african and even if you're an african in us uk this is you this is what identify you as a african person so always be proud of where you're from because that's what makes you it makes you like you won't be a european because you're staying in europe no you always be an African and they will always look at you as an African person. So be blessed with this. Africa, Uganda. Africa, Northern Uganda. Lucky to be here. So, hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In case you're new, please subscribe, hit the like button. And press the notification bell so that every time I post a video, you don't miss out on anything. So today, when I was young, I used to hear people telling me that the Karamajongs eat only blood. <laughs> so today, I'm going to find out what else do they eat apart from blood and other. I know they eat usual food that we all eat all over Uganda. But then there are a lot of stereotypes around the country because people are not informed. I myself wasn't informed before, but then I'm glad I've got to experience their real life and it's a normal life. So today they told me that they eat uh, alcohol residue. I'm like, what? Do people eat alcohol residue? They're like, yes, they do. So today at lunch, this is what they are going to be eating. So please come with me. Let's learn something from them. Let's learn. Do they first cook it? Do they boil it? Do they do what? Just keep on to the video and you will get the answers to those questions. So I think let me first wash the calabashes. This is a calabash. So basically this is the utensil they use here. And then mama will help me. She show me how it is done. I'm just rinsing them. Just make sure that what you're eating doesn't matter, but you have to make sure that you're eating in a clean utensil. And then I wash my hands. Wash my hands. So this is a cow skin. Maybe you can extend and they can see it. This is a skin and they use it as a thing for sitting. For sitting and the kids come. Baby. Baby. And then there is fermented milk. So she's going to teach us. Come and sit here. Here. I don't you have to you to look at it. Guys, like, not kidding, this is what they eat. And then, girls, bring the other I'm 
Ya cara gay. Eh. Kek 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 aku diama. Hmm. Diama je. Mari kita cari buku tu. So this is the milk plus the raised juice. Really looks nice. Looks like porridge. Like the millet flour. Is this what they do on Sunday ones? Because I, I didn't see any spoon for fix for stirring. You know, so the kids are waiting. Let's bring. So this is a mingling stick or the one, yeah? Mingling. So they do this like this. Am I doing it right? You can do right if you can do it. Okay. Right. Okay. That's enough. Let me do this one. Okay, can now do the whole of them. That's enough. Are you ready? So you share with this one. You come and share with this one. Yeah, Tamara, I mean, I think I have Tamara. I mean, yeah. Tamara, you can't. You can't. Tamara, that's it. Tamara, my dear Adam. Joko kana ya, euro kaja joko kuri kote ya, roka. Okay. Is this what they take every day? Not on daily basis, but sometimes. This is what they do. Because it's an affordable meal. Yeah, this is the only meal that can be. Afforded that can be good and it is the cheaper one oh, okay. that you can afford. Okay. Yeah. So the residue is from uh, Ajone or Marua. Yeah, it is from Marua. Marua or... is alcoholic. Yes. So doesn't it make the kids drunk in any way? Yeah, sometimes it makes also the kids get get drunk. Mm, I much. They only uh, they take it out of the conditions that they already have. Sometimes it, make, it makes them drunk. Yeah, it makes them drunk. Because if you get someone that has not skills properly and to dilute it, yeah. um, it makes the kids get drunk sometimes. After eating, they be drunk. After eating, just a mere residue. So can you add them? Bring. Yeah, okay, attack it. So can they eat only this and they survive for this? Like survive on that? 
Yes, yeah, sometimes because you cannot afford uh, the money to buy any grain. So you get that in a family, a person can afford only residue. So that means you need to go and look for this residue that can feed a family for an entire day. That is what they do. So, uh, does Mama have a husband or she's single? Yeah, she has. How many kids does she have? Two. Two kids. Two kids. Does she have a co-wife? Yeah, she has No. She doesn't have a co-wife. She does not have. Okay, you ask her. Would she really like it if the husband brings a second wife? I don't know if she's a second wife. That far herself she accepts. Why? That's because a man should at least get more than one wife and he always for her in the culture where she comes from comes from a polygamous family and she's not supposed to refuse. refuse. Okay, so she's okay with her husband having another wife? So, she's okay with her husband having another wife? So, what if I want to be the second wife to the husband? Will she go and tell the husband? I'm going a chanting a dee, a dee at a ruin of a kind of good. Chamber young, Lily Alimango, Clever, Chamber, 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 that they will instruct you on how to make this lakala grass such. Abalanya pedo rubuni. That you will manage because you will you will be instructed on how to make it. What about our husband? Can he make kumia? Ambo lo kile kwenye pedo lo kile kwenye duka kwenye dawa. Yeah, that it is possible for men, some other active men, 